next date. And when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, oh, like, right? <laughs> and then he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? So I'm not even paying attention. I brush past this trying to walk down the steps and get to the door, right? Because I'm not paying attention. I'm just so not used to it. And it just hasn't, like, I just didn't have a lot of practice. He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another video. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way in. Tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. And you know what we're going to do. Say it with me, y'all. We're going to roll that clown. date. And when I opened the door, my man was at my front door. And I was like, oh, sh like, right? <laughs> and then he hit me with the Rico. He pulled the flowers out. And I was like, wow, this is different, right? So I'm not even paying attention. I brush past this trying to walk down the steps and get to the door, right? Because I'm not paying attention. I'm just so not used to it. And it just hasn't, like, I just didn't have a lot of practice. He opened my car door. I get inside. He closed the door. I immediately went to my group chat. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say he opened your car door? He opened High five. No, High five. No, 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 no. Now let me explain, right? Let me explain. By the time we got to the restaurant, my follow-up text was, Y'all, that's my bad. I, ain't, I just realized, I ain't, and all that stuff we be talking about, we don't really want. See, this is the disparity that we have in the black community, especially when we deal with our own people. As a man, we are taught to be nice. We are taught to be respectful. We are taught to be chivalrous. We are taught to be understanding and compassionate toward women however women are not taught that way anymore you remember back in the day when women were kind and compassionate not anymore women of this day and age are no longer the woman that we used to know they are combative non-conforming, they don't listen, they combat you, they discredit whatever you say, they argue with you, they're entitled, delusional, and modern. So in this video clip, we saw the modern woman shaming a nice guy. This is what turns the nice guy into an a-hole. This is why nice guys finish lies. This is why men are telling men not to be chivalrous. Why? I did a video a few months back where a man actually gave a woman flowers and she threw them in the trash and laughed. A black man went on a date brought flowers and did everything he was supposed to do but yet he got nothing so we're seeing it is that being chivalrous does nothing it doesn't appeal to women chivalry is dead because women killed it got him we fucking got him just as Dave Chappelle. See, when you look at the modern woman, when you're looking at her, you don't see the women that we grew up with. You don't see the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000 women. You don't see that anymore. You don't see women that wear natural hair. You don't see women that don't wear makeup. You don't see women that wear that dress conservative. You see women that dress like thoughts and e-girls. This is the world that we live in. Being chivalrous as a guy means getting rejected by women. Oh! Women want a nice guy, but they don't really want a nice guy. <laughs> women. If you catch my drift. 
See, they want a nice guy to put in the friend zone. Because what happens with men is that you may think, okay, I'm going to be nice to this woman and maybe she'll like me. Maybe she'll want me. Maybe she'll go out with me. No, God, please, no, 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 no. Being nice to a woman. Now, I'm not advocating being mean to women. What I'm saying is you need to find a woman that likes you for you, whether it's a black woman or whoever. And see, this is what we're saying. What we are saying is simple. You want a good guy. You want a decent man, a decent partner, a decent husband. More than likely, they're in the friend zone. You're like my BFF. If I didn't have a boyfriend, I would totally date you. I like you. I'm just not looking to date. I just got out of a relationship. I would totally date someone with your personality. I think we should be, you know, like more than friends. I wouldn't want to hurt our relationship. You remind me of my little sister. So weird. You're so sweet. So adorable. Sweet. So adorable. When you meet somebody you know. The men that you want, the men that you want to spend the rest of your life with are in the friend zone. But instead of you taking them out of the friend zone or not even putting them in there in the first place, this is what you do. You leave the nice guy in the friend zone because you want the nice guy when you're 30 plus. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. You don't go with the nice guy off the bat. And see, this is what I tell women. If you go with the guy that treats you right off the jump, you will avoid 90% of your relationship issues. But instead, you want to go for the guy that looks like Future and the hood guy. You think it's all fun and games until the dating market hits you back into reality. See, it's time for women to shape up. It's time for women to get it together because you need to stop. Stop it. Get some help. You don't have to be a bad guy, but you'll never win being the nice guy because nice guys always finish last. Yep. That's what's been consistent across years and years and years. The nice guy always finishes last. And with that, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload content. Do not forget, I will be live this Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Mark your calendar. I hope to see you there. Until the next video, peace.